All right, guys, today is the day we're gonna put the FL5 on the dyno to see how good the Fearable tune is or how accurate it is what they claim in the numbers. But first to first, we're gonna go get some fuel, put it on the FL5, and we're gonna put in some 94 octane. Let's see if we can pull the most power out of this car. Let's go, see you guys there. <laughs> All right, guys, you can tell I'm pretty excited for this vlog. I'm just excited to get the numbers to see if it's actually like, legit. So here's the plan. What we're going to do is we're going to do a baseline run just with the car stock in stock form. So we're going to reflash the uh, factory map back in. After that, we're going to do all four runs. Street one, street two, race one, race two. And let's see what kind of numbers we can put out of this car. Let's uh, let Matt do his thing, strap the car down. Let's get started. All right, so some of you guys are probably wondering what kind of dyno we're using. So today we're going to use a uh, Mustang dyno. We're here for all you guys that are wondering who or what it is. Mustang dyno. That's doing his own thing right now. He's just going to strap it down. And uh, it looks pretty sick. Pretty excited, you guys. This is this is awesome. All right, so you guys, so based on Honda, they did a base run, and they got 334 uh, foot pounds of torque and 316 316 horsepower on a stock car. The Fearable, they say it's supposed to be 362 horsepower and 371 foot pounds of torque. So that's what we're, the numbers we're aiming for. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be roughly about 330, 330, but the torque, I don't know. So horsepower, I'm guessing 330 based on where I live here. And so Matt's got the uh, computer hooked up and he's uh, flashing the OEM tune back in right now. And uh, we should be uh, almost all ready to get going. temperature is pretty crazy it's uh, 60 degrees right now for the intake so I'm thinking that's probably how to do with the turbo right above the intake uh, inlet pipe but it's even uh, giving off a lot of heat right now and that's probably why it's so high all right guys so 
now we're gonna flash in the uh, Faribault 2, and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of runs on all, I guess all maps that they have preloaded in there. All right guys, so we're gonna do Street 1 right now, and then we're gonna do a couple runs on that first. coming in, eh? Yeah. Coming into play? Yeah, we can give it a minute to cool off. Cool off. Yeah. But definitely the numbers are not improving. It just, definitely heat stroke, uh, heat stroke. Heat soak is uh, coming into play for sure. We're gonna let her, uh, we're gonna let her cool down and then uh, we'll do another run.
right, guys. So what do you think? So just let me clarify first. So I think Matt kind of screwed up when he loaded up the maps. Um, there's no way Street Tune should be fast or more have more power than uh, race uh, maps in the Fairable Tune. So just let me just clarify that up. So it's even though yeah, just okay. So but the numbers are pretty spot on um, based on Honda's uh, data that when they did their uh, logs. Uh, 318, I think that was the number. It was pretty spot on with mine. Uh, we were off by, I think, eight, eight horsepower. Eight, pretty, pretty close, pretty close. But the variable tune, uh, there's no way it's going to pull out 362 horsepower and whatever, 300, almost, three, almost 400 foot pounds of torque, I think. A anyways, yeah, like I predicted. It was pretty close, 330 was what we're pulling out of there on the race map. And on the street tune is pretty close to stock. So like I, like, like I said, I'm, I think they're just playing more with the traction control. Uh, they did up the boost, I think roughly two pounds because I think stock is 22. I think Matt said it was like 24 pounds of uh, boost. So two pounds makes it big, makes the difference of the horsepower, I think. Also noted, RPM was raised up to 7,400 RPM. Uh, stock is 7,000, 7,100. So it's, they raised the RPM up on that one too. Heat soak was coming in, into play for sure because it was, it was pretty hot. The day, that day, the temperatures are roughly around 32 degrees Celsius in Canada here. So it's, it's fairly hot. We're in a heat wave right now. Probably wasn't a good day to dyno, but it is what it is. It's already booked in. We don't have a lot of dinos around in, in Edmonton here. So that's the reason why we did it. But other than that, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully uh, that answers any questions about uh, Faribault tunes, if it's closely to the numbers that they claim. Uh, I didn't get any close to it, but maybe it's because it's where I live. I live up in Canada. Of course, we're not our, with our altitude, our numbers are not going to be as high as you guys down there. Yeah, I would say pretty close. We were off by a little bit. 30 horsepower pretty decent the noticeable difference it's not at first i was like hey, man it's 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 going to be uh, like claude said the placebo t uh, effect you're just feeling it uh, it's in your head but no it's the numbers don't lie there's a significant amount of gain in the parable tune so 240 dollars probably worth it we'll see you guys in next week's vlog See ya. Don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe button, you guys. Yeah.